Hey guys, it's Zach back with another video, and today SmartSync just got a whole lot more exciting here. Okay, that's right. I got my hands on a Simplex 4009 IDNet NAC extender. This is uh, the type of system you would see, well, on a Simplex system, generally controlling these horn strobes. In most cases, they're set up to do smart sync through um, this here, which is the address settings. Uh, it's an IDNet device, so you can actually run in your SLC up here. Um, from the main fire panel and they'll all trigger uh, based upon that instead. Of course, I don't have a simplex ID net panel uh, at this time and so I'm doing this in a more conventional method. What we have here is auxiliary power from, from this. It's 24 volt power going out and into channel 1 which is the strobe channel and also jumping over to channel 2 which is the horn channel. Normally you would have a resistor down here somewhere and this would be tied to an actual panel and everything would be happy. But I'm just doing this because it'll trigger as soon as I power it up. So I do have one of my 4906 9127s hooked up here. That is a smart sync only device. And the way I've got this set up is in the dip switches here. Um, I've got number eight on the first switch here on, which tells it to pay attention to these and not ID net. Then I've got four on over here, which says to insert a sync code into the NACs, and eight on over here, which says turn on the quick alert and off the conventional NAC. So quick alert NAC is, is what we're doing. All right, so that's how all those settings need to be. In order for the horns to fire off, we do need to have this hooked up, and I didn't know that. I was trying to figure out what was wrong yesterday. Um, as I was sitting around here, all I could get was the strobe to flash, but uh, it's because this needs to be jumpered over just like this. So, I've got my fuse here, which we're going to put in. It'll spark. This is going to do a boot up process, which is very short. Um, just kind of walks down, and then you'll hear it click, and that'll go right into alarm. There it goes, nice and loud. So what I'm going to do is try to take this off to simulate audible silence. There you go. Loose connection makes uh, the horn shut up. Yeah, click back in. Get out of there. Not easy to do with one hand. Okay, now it's actually silenced. So this would be, you could control this with a relay or something to actually uh, silence it and trigger this off of any panel if you if you really get creative here, um, which I might mess around with a bit. But you'll see it does audible silence here. You can hear those relays click every so often. There they go. That's a sync signal, just kind of telling it, hey, everything, stay in sync. Um, because what it's actually doing is, unlike this module, where it's clicking constantly, this is, is giving the device power and saying, here's how you stay in sync, do that for a little bit, and then I'll remind you. And uh, so now if we remove power completely, incomplete circuit, you'll see the strobes shut off. So uh, what I was doing there, just simulating how this might work, um, now the, this panel's back in a normal state. This is not a fire panel, this is a power supply. So it will um, need to be controlled by a panel, but you can dummy it out to make it think that it needs to go right into alarm, just like I did. So um, I've probably worn down these batteries quite a bit trying to uh, get this thing to work. So I'm gonna go put everything away, but I am very excited for this. I have yet to um, you know, find any any major issues with it. It looks to be in good condition. 
Um, so it's all uh, it's all here, and I have it, and we are good to go. So guys, I want to say thank you for watching. Um, excited about this, hoping to uh, maybe be able to find a good proper way to trigger it with uh, my main panel, and uh, so we'll we'll look at that. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.